just 12 years to stop our planet heating up with devastating consequences. That's what the world's top climate scientists tell us we've got. They say it'll take rapid, far-reaching and unprecedented changes in all aspects of society. People ask me, can we do that? And I say, well, we've done it before. History is full of examples of how we've achieved the seemingly impossible on a very tight time frame. We take the train system for granted now, but at the time, the scale of ambition and speed of change was incredible. In the mid-1800s, 4,400 miles of train tracks were laid in the UK in just seven years. That's more than seven times the length of Britain from top to bottom. In 1892, workers upgraded nearly 200 miles of track in a single weekend. They started on the Saturday and reopened the line on the Monday morning. We're capable of extraordinary things when we decide they're necessary. A catastrophic banking failure in the US led President Roosevelt to push through massive changes via the New Deal. This reformed banking and put millions of people to work on new public and environmental programs. Much of the groundwork was done incredibly fast in Roosevelt's first 100 days in office. $21 billion was spent over seven years, about 3.5% of national income back then. Many argue we now need a Green New Deal. Think governments these days would never invest like this? Well, after the 2007-2008 financial crisis, more than £400 billion was pumped into the UK economy and a breathtaking $3.7 trillion into the US. Wars are times of danger, but also collective action and social transformation. The war changed almost every aspect of life in the UK in just six years. We used far fewer resources, and Brits came together to grow, share, make and save. Those who lived through the war were left surprisingly healthier and confident enough to rebuild Britain with new assets like the National Health Service and social housing. We choose to go to the moon in this decade because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. With these words, President Kennedy transformed the US space program from wishful science fiction into reality. Ignition sequence start. We have a liftoff on Apollo 11. Just seven years later, Neil Armstrong took his first steps on the moon. It was a catalyst for wider, rapid innovation. Sometimes, seemingly impossible goals can be achieved in incredibly short periods of time. Remember this? In the early hours of Wednesday the 14th of April 2010, a volcano exploded in Iceland, throwing a massive ash cloud into the air. Airports all over Europe closed, as if a giant master switch for the aviation industry and its climate pollution had been flicked to off. The skies above Europe fell silent. So, did modern life come to a standstill? Well, no, in fact, what happened next was a revelation, a model for how quickly we can adapt to change. Supermarkets sold local produce instead of fruit and veg flown in from thousands of miles away. Business people took to video conferencing. The Norwegian Prime Minister, who was stranded in New York, ran his government from his iPad. Suddenly, the skies were peaceful. And the modern world kept going. So, can we transform the world in 12 years? It's undeniably a massive challenge. But history has shown time and again how innovative and adaptable we are. We've done it before. Can we do it again? <laughs>